this was actually the cruise which was going for already the third time so the team of people who worked uh, assembled on that boat were all about you know colorful glowing uh, sexy stuff and uh, funny enough the most interesting discovery that we made was about animals which had no eyes no coloration and completely covered in mud the moment we totally did not realize what we were looking at the first researcher who seen that thought, thought they were snails because they were obviously leaving those tracks I mean some small object leaving a track in the, in the mud snail or sea urchin we couldn't think of anything else yeah. but when they collected those turns out that they are grape sized and pretty much shaped like a small grape oval things it's like a bag filled up with water it doesn't look like an animal by any standard of our team we all uh, geared up for you know big uh, things with legs and guts and eyes and uh, things like that and this turn we, at, at some moment we even thought that it might be some high-tech poop packaged in the membranes and disposed at the end of the track so that was one of the crazy ideas we had I took one sample of this guy fixed it for molecular analysis and sequenced some uh, randomly picked sequences out of there and and I discovered that it's actually a giant amoeba or relative of those amoebas so ours are grape shaped bubble like and apparently they roll around in the mud leaving those tracks and it took me another month or so to realize the significance of this observation actually it's that we're looking at unicellular organisms protozoans which are macroscopic by all standards of uh, protozoans these are giants so the giant protists of which not so many are known although there are very giant protozoans in the deep sea but they don't move this is the giant protozoan which can move it can leave traces and if this guy would be living like 600 million years ago and the trace got fossilized a paleontologist unearthing this thing would not have even a shade of doubt attributing this kind of trace to the activity of a big multicellular bilaterally symmetrical animal 